We are headed to Montreal and Vermont. It's our blessed adventure. It's our blessed adventure. Once we hit Montreal, we realized this was a place that we really needed more time. So we just take a quick car trip through Montreal. Let's see if we can get the Montreal is a place we'll have to put on our list to come back and spend some more time when we can actually walk around and see the views and get a chance to enjoy some of the European architecture. We drive by the architectural marvel Habitat 67, which was an apartment community that was built back in 1967. Yeah, After a short visit to Montreal, we head down the road towards Vermont.
All right, we got to the Canadian border, uh, crossing back into the U.S., and all the lanes said trucks. Wayne Lane said trucks. Oh, a bunch of other lanes said cars. <laughs> and one said buses. So we didn't know which lane to go in, so we were closest to the bus lane, so we took the bus lane. And this is what we ran into. A Greyhound bus. They had to get everybody off the bus, check underneath the bus for everybody's luggage, and check every passenger individually. So, we've been sitting here for a little while. Uh, good thing they're pretty efficient. They got them getting them through pretty fast. Looks like there's maybe one person left in line inside and they're getting the bus loaded up. So when we get up here, we'll ask them actually which lane we should have went in. So, and uh, we'll figure it out. So we'll keep you posted. Well, looks like they're getting ready to move the bus. And they're gonna probably have us move up. So here we go. Get the window open. Waiting to see if this guy is ready for us to pull one up. Alright, yep. Giving us the pull up signal. Right. In 100 meters, slight left onto I 89 South. There's another motor home behind us, so. Maybe not follow us. How many people are up there? Three. Okay. We're in there. All righty. Yep, please. What's that? Oh, never mind. Okay, there. Okay. Get up, please. Passports right here. Yep. Passports. Give me the passport. Uh, well, we rent up the PEI, and then we've kind of just worked our way back down. Are you with, are the other ones with you? Just the one behind us. The, okay. the second one back there is not. Okay. Apparently, the Well, there's no real indication of which way to go, so that's that's a question I was going to ask. Yeah, they're so freaking big, though. I don't know how long here. Yeah. What? What? Which way would which should we have come? Uh, well, uh, okay, they had those last two lanes blocked, so that's why we didn't. Yeah. You want all three of us out? Yes. Okay. Well, we made it through the border. Um, they said we should have went to the far right, last two lanes, but one guy said he preferred to have us over here in this lane since it's bigger, since we're so big. So, no problems, just took three minutes. Now we're just waiting on my sister and brother-in-law to get checked out, and we'll be back on the road. Waterbury, Vermont. Well, I don't know how small it is, but we are coming to Ben and Jerry's factory tour and check out, see if
see how their ice cream is made and probably get some Chunky Monkey. What do you think, honey? I think there's some Chunky Monkey in several people's future. <laughs> ah, and it looks like several people's future, there might be, it might be a busy time. Once again, the holidays is probably, well, and it's summertime now. So, might be a bit busy. But we're gonna find out. Looks like they're doing some solar to help keep the plant running as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, I think we've chosen quite the interesting times to travel. We're taking the vanilla down to our tour. See, we're ready. The vanilla vader. <laughs> I'm a senior. <laughs> Glenn's a senior. We found out a little later that these are the top 10 sellers for Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So what did you think of the, what was this flavor, waffle? This is, this is uh, number seven. America. America cone or something. It oh, wasn't yeah. bad. Pretty good. So here's a small look of all the samples that you can pick from when you're here at Ben and Jerry's. So we go out, we get in line, and we try to decide what we're going to get. This is what we came up with. Brownie and Chunky Monkey. And chocolate peanut butter swirl and Chunky Monkey. And look what the grand dogs get when that we get home. <laughs> You know how a lot of people go on tours and they tour graveyards. Really not a fan of graveyards, so to speak, but this one is pretty unique. This is the Ben and Jerry's Flavor Graveyard. It's for all the retired flavors of the Ben and Jerry's ice cream that they have stopped making. So let's go give it a check out.
we left the Ben and Jerry's and headed down the road to our Harvest Coast location here in Waterbury called the Cold Hollow Cedar Mill. This is where they're making their famous cider donuts. Our driver James has been awesome in stopping for all our pictures. We've been driving him insane. Saw this unique artwork on their bridge. That is really neat. In Waterbury, Vermont. Evidently, where the Greyhound bus is going to come. That's restaurant that um, was recommended to us. Called the Reservoir. Over there. So we're going to go check that out. See what it's about. We came in Cold Harbor to have breakfast this morning. Some more cider. Yeah, it was cider. it was delicious. I think their menu is pretty okay. cool how they have it. You want the you turn around the white wrap. So English muffin, <laughs> biscuit, or bread. And I love the way they have the menu. Of the scenes they have in the wall here in the restaurant. The place we ate was called the barn here at the old cider mill. We sat out there on the benches. Delicious, delicious breakfast. The homemade biscuit was fabulous. After breakfast, we headed out to check out a little more of Waterbury, Vermont. Trying out the world's best cheddar cheese. We have it creamy. Thank you. They're already in here trying them all. Garlic was good. Is it good? Pretty good cheese. That monster, they do have some monsters. It's pretty killer. After a visit to the Cabot Creamery, we stepped around the corner to the chocolate shop. After having breakfast and sampling cheese, we ended up just getting a little chocolate for the road. Smells like chocolate. Ladies took a look into one more store. And then it was time to hit the road. I hope you have been enjoying the epic road trip so far, and I hope you continue to stay with us till the end. Don't forget to give us a like. Share it with your friend, give us a thumbs up, 
And don't forget to leave us a comment because we love hearing from you. Thanks for being with us at Noah's Blessed Adventures.